What's going on Security Ninjas? Samuel here and I like to hack things. This is the first video in a three-part series where I break down various paths in cybersecurity certifications ranging from entry level all the way to experienced. Also, stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to be giving away some content that will help you with these entry level certifications. Before I begin giving you my opinions on these various certs, here are a few certs that I have and some of my goals for 2019. All right, let's break down some of these entry level certifications. I'm only going to cover three certifications in this video, but if you have other questions about various certs, please put them in the comments section below. The first entry level cert that I'm going to cover is CompTIA's Security Plus. Security Plus is one of the more well-known certs from CompTIA. It covers various security topics such as network security, compliance and operational security, threats and vulnerabilities, application data and host security, access control and identity management, and of course, cryptography. Within each of these objectives or domains, there are various sub objectives, which I could make an entire video on. It would take forever. Is this certification worth looking into for those that want to get into security? Yes, of course it is. While it doesn't go into detail on a lot of the objectives, it covers a baseline to give you kind of the breadth of knowledge that employers may be looking for, at least in an entry level position. It just serves as a great baseline to get started. Now, there's a lot of people that look negatively upon CompTIA certifications, and of course, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. One of the main reasons I list this cert on entry level certifications and I suggest it is because it's listed on tons of entry level roles. Just look here, I searched Indeed for Security Plus and you can see there's tons of jobs that have Security Plus listed in the description or requirements. This doesn't 100% mean that the job's requiring it, it's just that the employer prefers that you have that certification. Keep in mind that this cert does cost $339, which isn't very expensive compared to the doors it can open for you when applying for entry level positions. The second entry level certification I want to cover, the SSCP or System Security Certified Practitioner from the ISC Squared organization. And it also serves as a great precursor to their SysP certification. The SSCP covers various topics as well from access controls to security operations and security administration, risk identification, monitoring, and analysis, incident response and recovery, cryptography, networks and communication security, systems and application security. ISC Squared is a well-known organization, mainly for their CISP certification, but they also have a massive influence on the cybersecurity world. I think it's a really great starter cert and it also comes with that name recognition and kind of sets you up for the SysP later on. Also, I do want to mention that this cost about $250, which is cheaper than CompTIA's Security Plus. However, as you can see, when I do a search for SSCP on Indeed.com, I get a little bit less results by quite a bit actually than you see with Security Plus. Third up is the CEH or the Certified Ethical Hacker from EC Council. This one is more targeted towards ethical hacking and maybe penetration testing. It covers various things that you would expect a penetration testing or ethical hacking cert to cover, such as reconnaissance, scanning, web hacking, network security, IDS evasion, etc. It goes on from there, but you kind of get the point. So there's a lot of opinions and controversy surrounding the certification. Some people think it's a garbage cert, some people like it. The only reason I really included it in this list of three that I suggest you look at as an entry level security professional is because it shows up a lot on job postings. It'll show qualifications and certification preferred, Security Plus, CEH, GCIH, etc. If your goal is to work towards penetration testing, this cert might be right for you because it focuses on those key concepts for ethical hacking. I will, however, say that it does cost around $600 if you don't use their training route. You have to pay like $100 extra just to take the test in addition to the $500 that it costs to attempt the cert in the first place. So if you got the extra money to spend and that's your goal, maybe that's right for you just because how much it shows up on job postings. 
I also want to mention two other certification organizations, such as eLearn Security and the SANS plus GIAC combination. eLearn Security is up and coming in the CERT and training world. I wanted to mention them because they have tons of hands-on training, but I haven't seen it requested too much on job postings lately. Not to say that the CERT isn't worth getting or the various certifications they offer aren't worth getting. I think they're great to look at, especially if you want to get the hands-on practice for a job you're looking for, such as penetration testing, because that's what they focus on mainly. The other certification or certification body I would suggest looking at if you have the money is the SANS plus GIAC combination. So I didn't mention the GSEC on here, which is their entry level security cert, because once you get everything combined, it's about $7,000 for the training plus the certification attempt. And I think that's a lot to ask a newcomer to pay when getting into the cybersecurity world. Now, if you work for an amazing organization that is willing to pay for these certs, then heck yeah, go for them. Because I'll be honest, SANS training is some of the best training that I've had. As you saw earlier, the certs I have, I currently have three working on two more, hopefully this year. and. It's just been a blast. You can also look at vendor-based certs, as in security devices or software-based. So for instance, CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike has a certification for their product. So let's say you're entering an entry-level role that happens to deal with that endpoint, and you come in with that certification. That's basically gonna put you ahead of everyone else because you already know the product that they focus on there. There's other ones such as Palo Alto, Cisco, obviously, CCNA, etc. Splunk even has some. So if you're interested in those, I suggest looking into them. Okay, so we covered a few certs that I feel can get you started in the world of cybersecurity. If I had to choose one entry level cert to really recommend to new people based on cost and how often I see it show up in job postings, I would definitely suggest CompTIA's Security Plus. So to help one of you lucky security ninjas, I'm going to give away a copy of Daryl Gibson's Security Plus book or access to his online content. So how do you win the giveaway? Basically what you need to do is enter in the comment section below, hashtag Security Plus giveaway, and I'll reveal the winner in the next video I upload. Also, don't forget to subscribe for future content giveaway, such as various certification books or training, such as maybe in the future I'll give away some e-learning access or Pentester Academy, etc. All right, security ninjas, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in learning some cybersecurity tips and hacking tips, check out the videos linked here on the screen, and I'll see you next time.